today we're going to be talking about the best things about living in Temecula and the worst things about living in Temecula. And we are starting right now. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung and I am a realtor here in the Temecula Valley with Active Realty. I am married to Chris, who is also a realtor. We work as a team and we have two boys, ages two and four, and a border terrier named Zoe. Thanks so much for checking out my channel, which we created to help those of you that are considering moving to our area learn more about it. So let's get right to it. Temecula is an awesome place to live and it has become a very desirable place to move to. The pros far outweigh the cons. Um, so don't get me wrong, but no place is perfect and it is important to have all of the facts when considering making a move. So let's start with the bad news first. Here are some of the worst things about living in Temecula. The first con for living in Temecula is that it is the most expensive city in Southwest Riverside County to buy a home. The market has decided that Temecula is the most desirable city in the area to live. As of the latest stats available for the month ending in April of 2020, the average price of a single family home in Temecula was 580,000 compared to 542,000 in Murrieta and 404,000 in Menifee. There is a premium to pay to live in Temecula. The next con for living in Temecula is that it is sort of land of the HOAs. HOA is short for Homeowners Association if you are not familiar with the term. Most homes in the city are part of an HOA which comes with an added monthly expense. The fact that a neighborhood has an HOA could also be a pro depending on how you look at it. Other than the obvious amenities that an HOA can offer to a community, like pools and parks and nice landscaping and so forth, an HOA can also hold your neighbors accountable to a high standard of keeping their homes and yards up to par by issuing violations. A well-run HOA will ensure that your next door neighbor won't be able to paint their house lime green or park a bunch of cars on their front lawn or leave their Christmas lights up until July, things like that. Nobody, nobody wants to look at that. Um, but if you do not want the added expense of an HOA or to be held accountable to them, then you might want to consider the neighboring town of Murrieta. Murrieta has more neighborhoods that do not have HOAs. Uh, Temecula has a few neighborhoods without HOAs, but Murrieta certainly has more overall. One last thing before we move on. There are many neighborhoods that do not have an HOA, but they look like they do. For example, there are quite a few great neighborhoods such as Copper Canyon in Murrieta, where most folks clearly have a high level of pride of ownership in their home and their yard. Check out uh, my Copper Canyon video right up here if you're interested. Real quick, if you are considering making a move to our area, we would love to hear from you. Even if you are as long as a year out from making your big move, we would love to schedule a Zoom chat or a phone call with you and answer any questions you have about moving to our area. We can also get you started on a property search as well. Call, text, email, we love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video every week telling you everything you need to know about moving here. All right, back to our topic. The last con that we are going to be discussing has to do with Temecula becoming such a popular place to move to. Most of the land has already been developed and if you are interested in new construction particularly, the options are very, very limited right now. Not only are they very limited, but the new construction that is available is pretty dang expensive. I will give you an example. Lennar has a community called Marbella, which is located in a great South Temecula location, but it is currently priced starting in the mid 600,000s and mid 700,000s for the larger models, and that would be before upgrading your flooring, etc. This video and that pricing is as of early May 2020. Let's dig into that price a little bit more. I really like Lennar and I have been working with clients lately uh, in a Lennar development up in Menifee called Heritage Lake. Menifee is two towns north of Temecula. So you have Temecula as the most southern city, then you have Murrieta, and then north of Murrieta, you have Menifee. The prices in Heritage Lake start in the mid 300,000s and they go to the high 400,000s. So big difference. One reason for the big pricing difference is there is more undeveloped land available in Menifee. This translates to more new construction options, more builders, and more communities to choose from. 
The good news is there is a new master plan construction community coming soon to Temecula. It will be called Somers Bend, if I'm saying that correctly. There is not very much information out yet about this new community, but here is what we know so far. It is scheduled to break ground this summer, and it will consist of 12 new home collections. Somers Bend plans to build a new 10 mile trail system, a 20 acre sports park, 181 acres of preserved open space and an all ages clubhouse. I'll repeat, all ages, and that will make a little bit more sense in a minute. The all ages clubhouse will contain resort style lap pools, fitness rooms, a kitchen, bar and coffee kiosk, barbecue areas, picnic tables, event space, and an event lawn. Uh, an event lawn. Whew, that's a lot. There will also be a separate clubhouse for those 55 and older with their own pool and spa, terrace and fire pits, bocce ball, barbecue area, and our latest favorite, pickleball. Pickleball is not just for older people, but Somers Bend includes it in the 55 and older amenities list. It looks like it's going to be fairly condensed living with the largest lots going up to only 5,500 square feet. This size of lot would be considered medium small in our area. I just got an email announcing the initial builders and they will be Woodside Homes, Richmond American, and Taylor Morrison. I will keep you updated, of course, as we learn more about this up and coming community. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to some pros about moving to Temecula. One of the best reasons to move to Temecula is that it is in Southern California and our area is known for a mild climate. I think about 75% of the year, the weather is near perfection. We do not get snow pretty much at all, just a little bit of rain here and there. We also are not particularly humid. We don't have many bugs or mosquitoes, so you can enjoy the outdoors uh, much more often. There's no need for screened in porches or pools or that sort of thing. In our Temecula and Marietta area, we do not get Las Vegas or Phoenix hot in the summer. We do have very warm summers though. So if you want some tips on how to deal with the summer heat, check out my video called Top 5 Reasons to Temecula, um, which I will also link at the end of this video. Um, Chris wants me to be sure to mention the whole house fan part of that video. <laughs> Anyway, I have an entire segment in that video telling you how best to deal with the summer heat. Besides the climate, the awesome Southern California location cannot be beat. Temecula is located in the middle of San Diego, Orange County, and the Palm Springs desert area. The beach, mountains, the desert, several amusement parks are all within a short one to one and a half hour drive from Temecula. All of these make for an easy day trip. For more ideas on fun things to do that are within a short drive, I go into more detail in the video that I was just mentioning to you called Top 5 Reasons to Move to Temecula. The next great reason for living in Temecula is that there is a lot of investment taking place here right now. Like I mentioned previously about the new Somers Bend master plan community that is coming here soon, there is also lots of development happening out in Temecula wine country. Wineries have been adding hotels, they've been building new tasting rooms, Old Town Temecula has been growing, and Pachanga Resort and Casino expanded by adding yet another tower, a new pool area, and an event center, which this was a total of a several hundred million dollar project. I believe all of this business investment is what has spurred property values to rise as they have been doing in Temecula for over a decade now. In addition, beautiful scenery, the high-ranking Temecula Unified School District, a friendly community, these are more great perks to living in Temecula. But we'll save those topics for another video in the interest of time. Thanks so much for watching my video and let me know what pros or cons that I missed. Till next time, bye.